Hello. Welcome to the second demo of RAD, Ruby Arduino Development. In this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to use RAD to take advantage of some of the Arduino's more advanced features. Specifically, we'll be programming the Arduino to spin this flag whenever it receives a specific message over its serial connection. In the first demonstration, I showed you how to use the RAD command to generate a new Ruby Arduino project. In this case, I've already gone ahead and done that, so we can jump straight in and look at some code. Here's my serial motor class. Like any other Arduino sketch, it's broken into two sections, class methods for initialization and a loop method which will be called repeatedly. The first, the first class method here, output pin 7 as motor, will look familiar from our first demonstration. It tells the Arduino to set up pin 7 as an output pin and to provide a motor accessor by which we can refer to that pin. The second line here, serial begin, is new. Serial begin tells the Arduino to initialize itself for serial communication. This method takes an optional rate argument if we'd like to specify the baud rate at which we'll be communicating with the Arduino. In this case, we'll be communicating at 9600 baud, which is the default, so we don't need to include that argument. Now let's take a look at our loop method. Starting from the right, the loop method checks to see if serial communication is available. If it, if it is, it reads the, value of the serial, it reads the value sent over the serial connection and digital writes that value to the motor pin. In other words, if a 1 or any other value the Arduino will, will interpret as true is sent over the serial connection, we will digital write that value to the motor pin, telling the Arduino to send 5 volts out at, at pin 7, the, the motor pin. The 5 volts will trigger this transistor to allow the 3 volts from these two rechargeable batteries to reach the motor, causing the motor to spin. If the value read, read over the serial connection is 0, then we will digital write a 0 to the motor pin telling the Arduino to send 0 volts uh, out at pin 7, which will stop the motor from spinning. In other words, if we th this loop allows us to t turn the motor on or off simply by sending messages over our serial connection line. Let's go ahead and use RAD's built-in rake task, rake make upload, to prepare this code and upload it to the Arduino board. After the code is all prepared, the rake method will, will prompt us to reset the Arduino and then hit return. So we'll do that. If it compiles successfully, which it does there, we'll see the hex code scroll down the screen and see the lights flash as the code is transferred onto the Arduino. When it's completed, I'll run a Ruby script I've prepared just for sending simple messages out from the serial connection of my multimedia computer. As you can see in the script instructions here, if we send a 1, that will be communicated down and start the, flat, start the motor spinning. If we send a 0, that will be communicated as well, which will stop the motor from spinning. So let's go ahead and try it. We hit 1, and the motor starts spinning. 0, and it stops. 1, it spins. 0, it stops. So our code is working successfully. If you'd like to learn more about RAD for Ruby Arduino development, or help out with the project, Go to rad.rubyforge.org. Thank you.